All right, Jim, well, our next question sent to cornydrivethrough at gmail.com from Richard Ives in England. Hello, Jim. I met, a, I met a man with seven wives coming from St. Ives. Quick question. Do you still hate Shawn Michaels? <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I ever hated Shawn Michaels. I never felt about him the way I felt about Stain or Donald Trump or any really egregious excremental excuse for a human being. Uh, it was just, uh, and and he was a great worker, and I've said that. Great f***ing performer in the ring, just a goddamn annoying fucking prima donna motherfucker to be around and nasty to all my friends during the 90s, and then found God, which I don't believe in, so I don't put as much faith in as everybody else when they've reformed. I say, if you were that big of a prick before, you're probably always going to be a prick. Uh, but I don't hope that he gets run over by a bread truck and or falls off a cliff. And I've, you know, it, whenever he is straight on television, I'm not talking about sober or not sober. I'm talking about when he's being a straight wrestler instead of making dick jokes and doing the DX reunions. I've never had a problem with watching Shawn Michaels' matches. It was just an annoying fucking period of time in my life and a goddamn unprofessional fuck to be around to get along with or deal with. If he came up to you and said, Jim, I'm a different person, I'm a Christian, please forgive me, and extended his hand, would you shake it? Yes, I did. He came up to me at the Hall of Fame. I turned around and there's somebody hugging me and it was him. Hey, how you doing? Shook hands. Sean, I haven't seen you in forever. Ah, you look great. You look great. And we walked off. <laughs> We're not going to fight each other. I know you're not going to fight him. Well, he's not going to fight me. I mean, is there's just no reason to, there's, there was never any fighting fucking words going on. See, that's why well, he should. Cup, actually, <laughs> there was the fighting words going on that time when <laughs> he yelled at me and Jose, and I told Jack Lanza, I said, if he talks to me that way in front of the boys again, I'm going to shoot his knees. You'll have a four-foot-tall WWF champion. But, I mean, it, you know, it, there's not enough lingering heat that we want to just fight each other after fucking 30 years or whatever. At least I don't think so. And they, it's, it's the only win? Anderson Who do you think will win Prince. a match between you and Shawn Michaels? I think today, I think he could probably still whip me. He's, he's, you know, he still looks like he's in pretty good shape. I might be able to outrun some of these fat fucks that <laughs> blew up after they got out of the wrestling business, but he looks like he's stayed in fairly good shape. Do you uh, think at, that, at this age, if you worked with Shawn Michaels and you went for a dive, do you think legitimately <laughs> you would get higher off the ground than Top Dollar did? Well, yes. Yes, it would. I've, it would actually, it would almost be impossible to, to just fall down and not get higher in the air than Top Dollar did. I could, I could stay exact. <laughs> my, my head would be the same distance off the ground. I could just kick my fucking feet up and I'd be higher in the air than he was. Just kick your feet up, baby. But no, my, Michael's, it's the only Anderson principle. So many other dipshits have come along that are worse than you that you've moved up the ladder without doing anything. 